we forgot to do a good morning video. So pretend we're in the car, okay? Okay. And we're saying good morning. Okay. So, good morning. Good morning. So we we're are like off. Us. I know. Well, maybe you are. Today's the day. We're finally heading off. That blue wind's going to wreck up my sound on this this video. But anyhow. And make my solar panels dirty again. Yeah. All right. We're off. We're, We're off. off on our adventure to Western Australia to meet up with our daughter, son-in-law and grandson for Christmas. For Christmas. Um, so we're going to stay at a couple of free camps along. Now remember, if you've been following us, we finished up at Kanamala, then had to head back home. We've had videos since then, but we, on our trip we planned, we got as far as Kanamala, had to head home. Yep. After Kanamala, we were supposed to go to Yulo. So we are heading to Yulo, staying at Westmar and Bolland free camps or donation camps along the way. And um, we'll pick up the video, we'll show you a bit about those two places. And please guys, donate, just keep these places open. Yeah. And these, this is one of the better ones we've stayed at, I reckon. You get water, you get facilities, like it doesn't hurt to water, put five or ten bucks in, the, point, in the bucket every you day. You pretty much live here. So, yeah, so follow us on our journey. Yeah, please. It's going to be great. We are going to try to find places people haven't put on before. Um, like I said, we like our... Well, like I said, you'll see it a little bit further on in this video. We love our cemeteries, so we're going to be finding cemeteries. like outback cemeteries. Um, and I'll try to do as much research as I can on those, and they'll be on our other channel. And we'll try to scare Trace as much as we can with all the crocodiles. I know, I'm not looking forward to it. We're going to go crocodiles, we're going to see snakes, we're going to see spiders, and I'm not looking forward to all that at all. Yeah. And we've got some goodies too. We've we bought a pair of mics, so you might be able to hear me now. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, we are, um, yeah, heading to Yulo. So follow us on this journey. This is the Westmar Rest Stop. It's a free camp. And over here is the amenities block. You've got a men and a women's toilet and a disabled one, and each room has a shower in it. Um, there's just a little picnic table over here. It is well used by um, truckies every night, but once we had the van closed up, didn't hear a thing really. Great little stop. Over here is the convenience store slash fuel. And I think it's a tavern. Just a quick look at the amenities block while nobody's here. We'll go to the ladies. Over here is your toilet. And oh, this way. Shower. Plenty of space here, that's for sure. So over there near the amenities, that's where all the trucks seem to park on all that gravel. And then you've got this grassed area on the other side. Plenty of space. John's new way of cleaning the solar panels. <laughs> a bit safer than getting on the back of the old ute with the stepladder. <laughs> I think so. Don't fall down from there, dear. Not that far to fall. <laughs> Look at that. It's the second time. Oh, yuck. I know, I might have to go over them again. Yeah. Okay, hang on, I'll wash it for you. What do people do when they've got like six or seven solar panels? Lucky we've only got two. Oh, they wouldn't be able to reach that way, hey? Yeah, no, I don't know what we'd do. We'd have to sort of figure something else out. I think a lot of people climb on top of the caravan, don't they? I don't know. Can you walk on the roof of these things? 
I know some you can, some you can't. Pop it in the comments below. Can you walk on the roof of your caravan? Well, I know you can on some, but on some you can't. Mm. Get so. working. So if someone's got the same brand caravan as us, which, which is, is essential. A, essential. Yeah, see, pop it in the comments. Yeah. yeah. Like Hang on, know. I'll move the camera up so you can do it a bit better. Do that now, John. Like that, down there. Yeah. Down there. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, just... See if we can walk or at least sit on the roof or something. Yeah, I don't like you having to stand on our bed though. It's very with my new quilt. Give me, the, give me the things I can show everyone how dirty they are. On the camera. The difference. That's a dirty one. I don't know if you can actually see that. And that's a clean one I just cleaned. But there's a huge difference. And that should make a big difference all right okay now, this is going to drip on the bed well just dry it off a little bit it doesn't have to be like soaking soaking wet well, I, I probably don't, yeah. all right okay well we'll okay. just swap over get it up there get up there quick it's up there can you reach right down the end of that one only just I so hope you guys can see the difference. I can see a big difference. I like just hope it comes out on the video. So we should get a lot more solar now. Well, I'm up the top. Let's just have a quick look around where we are. Since we've got rooftop views, just all dirt and all that dust will probably make the solar panels all dirty again pretty much soon. Day two, and we're at our favourite campground in Bollin called Warren Creek. Oh, yeah. And we have a jumpers on today. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Where yesterday it was so blinking hot. <laughs> it was. Anyway. Anyhow, so we're not going to film much, um, no. but we're at Bollin. We're still en route to Yulo. Oops. Um, Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I think it's that one. See? I know. Yeah. Done some washing. And John's, as you've seen, John's I've cleaned the... I've already mentioned we've done three loads of washing. Shut up. And you would have seen John clean the solar panels. Um, yeah, just and waiting now, for... I'm just going to see what the difference is on the app. We're waiting for our friends Charles and Blinder to arrive. They're coming to have some morning tea. They're en route to Charlotte Plains, but we're on route to Yulo. Although we might stay another night, John. Tonight? Yeah. Donation, it's good. It's just... So pretty here. Yeah. Go around this way. Oh. <laughs> I just tried on his foot. <laughs> sorry. Didn't didn't hurt. <laughs> oh sorry. Anyhow, creek up back there. Um yeah. Yeah. So there you go. Okay, I need to find some ice. <laughs> Um, if you haven't watched our video um, before that we had when we went to Bollin, I want to show you something that's unique at this campground. Here's the toilet. It's just one toilet. But can you see what's next to it? Yep, you see right. It's Bollin Cemetery. So if you've been watching us, you know us well that we do like cemeteries and we have a cemetery channel called Historic Cemeteries Australia and we have done a walkthrough of this fantastic little place. So head over to that channel if you are interested in old cemeteries. The difference between staying this time and staying here, we're back here in, I think it was May, we are here. Look, there's hardly anyone. There was nine vans here last night. Where last time we were here, I reckon there would have been 30. Huge difference. Anyhow, um, just quickly also, this one is a donation campground. Let's check out this silly willy wagtail. It's probably not going to do it now. 
I've just been standing here watching him and he flies up and tries to get into our tunnel boot but it's there he goes do you know what we are getting a lot of is sap from the tree on the car oh yeah hey we'll do tip number one free camping well any camping don't park under those trees see those trees river gums i think they're called yeah. that's the second time we've made that mistake but what we're just under the foliage this time and not the branches what are they affectionately called john we don't make it we don't make just, it they just drop limbs but we're under the just under the the foliage as i said but we're, we're getting a lot of sap on the top of the car i forgot the camera zoomed in because i was watching the wheelie wagtails well that would have scared a lot of people <laughs> sorry about that guys <laughs> We need to put air in the tyres too, I think it's then. Air in the tyres? Okay. Well, they say 40-ish, but... Or 50, and they've got 44, 45. I'm going to put 50 in them, I think. Okay. I, think. Right. I did lower them because the tyre pr pressure monitoring system kept going off because it was set wrong, but my son-in-law's helped me fix it up, so... I can go up Good old son-in-law's. They're so handy to have. The new, the new technology, eh? Hey, it's just... <laughs> That was my head in, but anyway. Okay, leaving Bolland now and en route to Yulo. But as usual, um, Johnny's got a job to do. How you going there, Jono? Just fabulous. You want to try? <laughs> no. No, we have a deal. I think that's a good deal. I thought we said didn't need anything. Jesus Christ. So you're gonna, you're gonna just keep filming? You wanna come down here and. I think and I've got a good pretty good job. Here? I think I've got a pretty good job. I might just pause it while you so pause. the best of you go down there? <laughs> I'll just pause it. Oh, you can't see anything, anyhow. So we stopped at Kanamala, IOR. You're up to $78, John. These IORs are terrific, I'm liking them. Didn't like them at first. We're full. We've just put $83.69 in the car. 36 litres and it is $2.31. Stopped in Kalamala and thought we'd get some morning tea from the bakery. Didn't realise it was Sunday and it's closed. Oh well, on to Yulo we go. I've lost John. Where the hell's he gone? I think you are there. Go? Yeah. Close? Yeah, bakery's close. Really? I know, right? Every time we go somewhere, it's closed. Every time. I'm good for business anyway. Well, on to Yellow. We're here. Ow. Got a, oh, I've got a bindi in me. Oh. Bindi in my hand. Ouch. That would have been from the cemetery this morning. Yeah. Where are we, John? Yulo. Finally in Yulo. Finally got here. So when we left you, remember on our first trip and we said we got to Kanamala and then we had to go back home? Well, our next stop after Kanamala was supposed to be Yulo. So we... Ow! That has left a prickle in my finger. Ouch. Um, so we're here in Yulo. Yeah. Um, and we're staying at the Peru River Free Camp, which is pretty good. It is. It's pretty good. It's nice. We've stayed here Quiet. one night already, and um, now we're going to show you around town. So, yeah, let's get to it. Get moving, John. Oh, I'm coming too. Yeah. Oh, okay. 
Okay, so once you come through Yulo Town via this road, you come down here and you've got the pick of the board. You can turn right before the bridge or you can come over the bridge and turn left. Which way am I going? This way, sorry. To left over here. Or if you turn right when you come over the bridge, you come over here. This is where we decided to come. It's a huge area. And um, what was I going to tell you about it? It's free. You can have fires. You can have your dogs here. There's no water. There's no toilets, okay? So just remember that. I'm going to walk you over to the left side for a minute. There's a, oh, there's flies. Oh, there's flies. Okay. If you parked on the left side, I read someone in wiki camps parked on this side, and you've got a weir down here. Now, some people have said they've parked on this side when the water's been flowing, and it's really nice because you hear the trickle of the water down over the weir. And they've got uh, barbecue chairs, picnic tables spread throughout this place that you can camp your caravan up next to. It's fantastic. Got an information board to the right. All about the Great Artesian Basin. I've just gone and picked up John. I thought he'd bring you for a walk. Yeah, for a walk yeah, but I'll tell not? you what, John, the flies. Oh, God. I don't, right. think, they, I don't when, think they're that bad. No, today. when we get down near the bridge. Yeah? Yeah. They're shocking. But we're going to take you over, the, we're going to walk over the bridge because there's a massive big flood marker there. Oh, yeah. And um, this was all on the water, right over our head, right where we're standing. You should see how high, how high up the flood water's been. And now they're um, screaming out for water. Crazy. You right? Oh, so this side's a flood marker with no years on it. Yeah. All right, over the ridge we go then. You're doing the fly okay, dance. So no, the flies are. What, Told you why, they're bad here. Why here? I don't know. Is there another car coming? Yeah. It's a one way bridge. I think. Do you want to go underneath the bridge? Oh, we could do that. We're well, not underneath it, but beside it? Yep. Yeah? Yep. It's why do flies go up your nose and round your mouth? They are camping over there. Can you see all this down here in the water? Uh, whoa, there. You see all that? We're walking down here yesterday and John said, what did you say about that in the water? You tell everyone. Oh, dead fish. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go have a look what they are, John. No, someone's changed it. They were. They've, someone put some leaves in the in the in the way of the dead fish. <laughs> and not dead fish. No, no. Cows will clean that up after every couple of days. All oh, right, clean the dead fish up. Yeah, yeah. All right, okay. Okay, we're walking up to the flood marker, and I get to help the selfie stick again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't get to hold it very often. All right. Okay. Well, there's Tracy there. If you go all the way up to the top. So hang on. 1968. Hang on, you can't see that from back there. 1968. That was a good year, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a bloody good year. But and look how tall it is. See how tall the water went. And then we go all the way up. What is it? 2010. I've already done that. But yeah, but if I'll... I'm here. This, this is why I don't hold the selfie stick. If I'm here, I keep getting in trouble all the time. Stop. 2004. Maybe you're just short. Have you yeah, thought? Have you ever up, thought of that? Stop! <laughs> but right up there is 2010. Yeah. That's like too tall of me. Yeah. So you say in 2010 you should be that tall? I should have been 2010 gone now. Yeah. That's huge. Miss the other side of the river. No, you're not getting a selfie stick back. I've got it now. <laughs> A 
cool is that? That little weir over the other side over there holds all this water back. Cool. And we are just over there. Do you want to back now, do you? No. <laughs> I want you to turn it off now. Well, why? Turn around, John. Turn around. Just slowly turn around. Slowly turn around. Pr trust me, it's okay. Oh, this way? You just stop. No, don't walk. Oh, I've got flies on my back. Look at all the flies. If you leave them on your back, they won't come to me. No, don't do that. Why? There's another car. Cool to come right in. Oh, and this bridge was built in, I think it said 1928. 1928? Yeah. John's going to show you something when we get to the other side of the bridge. See this, um, what is it? Cable. Cable. Steel cable. Yep. We'll show you something when we get to the other side. All right, Johnny, what have you got to show us? There you go. Yeah, they put these in. They put that in and they get a tension. This was John's job in his previous life. They tension it with that. You know what they call that? A tensioner. No. I don't know. You just said they tension it with yeah, it. It's called a wheel tensioner thing in the bob. <laughs> yep. I like that name. Yep. That's good. See? Fun facts with John and Tracy. Yeah. You learn yeah, lots. You wouldn't have known that. You wouldn't well, have known about that least, thing in my At gym. least when you ask me questions, I have the answers for you. <laughs> huh? How many times have I asked you lately questions and you just don't oh, have the answers? Stop. Everybody no, knows. Really? No. No. No what? Everybody knows that. Good for them. I'm always right. Oh, far out. That's far from the truth. But anyhow. Don't be like <laughs> All right, we're going back to the caravan. What are we going after? Oh, no, we're not telling anybody where we're going because you don't know. And if I tell them on here, then you're going to find out. Oh, okay. So. It must involve money if you're not telling me. <laughs> That's the only way I You know. need to walk straight because uh, I keep losing you. It's your... ground. I know, it's shocking, isn't it? Right, uh, uh. we'll be back. When we come back on, no, we're going to show you town first because I've done this backwards. Oh, have I? I don't know what yeah. I've done. See, if I was holding the selfie stick, I would do it right. Oh, for God's sake. See? But I'm not allowed to hold it. It's We're going. Rain. No, it's not rain. The... Oh! I bought some opals. Oh! It's rain. I told you. I was right. I reckon it will last for two seconds. No. John's freaking out. Look no. at the clouds. Look at the clouds behind it's, us. It's pissing down now. It's not pissing down. Oh, my God. John's been freaking out because of the camp. Look at the water. Uh, look at the water. Oh, because that flood Look, hang on. Yeah. hang on. Look at the ground. Because the clouds have been a bit, bit iffy today, John's freaking out that he needs to hook up tonight. I'm hooking up. Because he thinks we're going to have to get out of here in a hurry. But the lady in the opal shop said... The rain here torments them. It decides it's going to come and it doesn't. Really? What do the locals think? No. No, they just live here. They don't know. Hell of a lot more than you do. I don't like No, I didn't like I'll that. I'll tell you. <laughs> That's not nice. <laughs> that was, that was pretty fast That's for me. That's not nice. But I have got about five drops of rain on me. No, and by the way, the locals are cool and they do know what they're talking about. But I bought about. some opals. We didn't film the opal shop, but I bought some opals. So. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Show everyone what you bought. Yeah, I'm going to. A million dollars worth of opals. Didn't buy a million dollars. I'll tell you what, I could have. Oh. I'm look at the world. You know, if we had our microphones on, it would be better. It's all charged up. Okay, see here? It's a Deprotron. I got my information. Okay, you all right. That. The Depro to don't no. Deprotodone to don. Live between 2,588 million years or 30,000 years ago. It was the largest of Australia's megafauna and grew to a weight of 2.8 tonnes. 
was heavy. It was the largest known marsupial to roam Earth, and modern day relatives are the wombat and the koala. That's what our caravan weighs loaded. Oh. Yeah, I know, right? Okay. Give more perspective. I think, I think we're in ants, John. We're in ants. Oh, ow, ow, ow. We're at the Lizard Lounge. See the big frilled le neck lizard? So this is the Lizard Lounge. This shaded picnic area was designed by Mrs. Peter Warner from Merrimo in Yulo in 2001. It represents the frilled neck lizard. Yulo was the home of Kunnamulla and Yulo lizard races for 35 years and the lizard has been adopted as the symbol of Yulo. The lounge is made from curved galvanised iron walls representing the lizard's body and scales. The canvas sails overhead represent the open frill of the neck of the lizard. Where are we going, John? Going to the police cells, Yulo police cells. Oh, it's of, open yeah, too. It's like the old original ones. Yulo police cells. Information from the Queensland Police Archives. The new Yulo police barracks and cells were erected in 1923 at a total cost of £1,438 after the 1894 cells were destroyed by termites. The barracks included three bedrooms, a living room, a kitchen with pantry, an office and a bathroom. There was also a single constable's bedroom providing separation from the main building. One of the rooms was utilised for court purposes and there was a dray shed on the block with one service, serviceable dray. These two cells with veranda were built to keep prisoners secure. These cells were decommissioned as they were unable to be upgraded to the modern day suicide watch standards required by Queensland Police. So these were decommissioned, John, because they couldn't provide suicide watch, oh. which is part of what um, Queensland Police want. They can put like cameras in there? Oh, I don't know. The doors are heavy. So heavy, like solidly heavy. This must be one of the cells because oh, that's the little... top of the prisoners. Oh, look. Hello. Look at the big lock. You ain't getting out of that, eh? Hey? Gee. You ain't getting out of that. Hey, John, I've got a yeah. seat. Come and sit with me because I've got some information oh, you got, you about you. Like, you watch drink? the boat, bird poop. You get a drink for me? No. What? I've, just oh, got, okay. I've just got some information yep. about you. Like. It's a busy little town. It is, hey. Let me get this camera right. All right. Yulo. Post office first opened in 1872 with the publican William Shearer acting as the first postmaster. A police station was established around January, January 1880. A court of petty sessions was established on the 18th of August 1880 and it operated until the 31st of December 1964. Did you see the photos in the police cell, how hard life was in those days? Yeah, I know, wow. right? And it's so hot out here. God. The telephone exchange opened in 1923. The school has a heritage listed on it and it was built in 1929. I think the school was down that way. I've got to look at that. Yulo has a pub, of course. Pub? We'll a, general, pub. a general pub? store. Yeah, church. And as well as Outback Petrol. Um, it once hosted the World Lizard Racing Championships on their Peru track, but eventually environmentalists put an end to that annual event. And then we're going to go in front of the pub in a minute. I've got an interesting bit of history about the publican. I mean, Not William Shearer, the publican, another another publican called Isabel Gray. Also, you get 
5G with five bars. Oh, do you? With Telstra, that's pretty good. Well, if you had a 5G phone. I do have a 5G phone. I don't. Well, you know, you know where the shops are. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. All right, so that was my information about Yulo. Yulo is the teeniest, tiniest little town. It's like you blink and you miss going through it. So, but it's quite nice. It goes through smaller. Yeah, Kuladi. Kuladi mm. was pretty small. It had a roadhouse. That was it. All right. Um, we've showed you the Dip Road Toad Dawn statue, but I think near the general store they've got um, some bones or something. Some bones. Yeah. So we're going to go there next. Okay. Oh, John. Oh, what? No, no. I tell a lie. Well, not a lie, but this, no. This afternoon, we're doing something really special in Yulo, and you don't know about it. I don't know. I'm going to spend some money. I don't like that. It's going to be fun. I don't like that. It's going to be fun. So, I'm yeah, to stay, keep, keep, I don't like money. <laughs> keep watching because you are going to see something quite unique in Yulo. Unique? Yeah. Mm. Let's go find the general store. Okay.